Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is Cheat Manager? The Fly Node. So the Fly Node's really simple. It basically enables the character movement mode of flying on the character. But there's a few things to note about it. So let's check it out first. Here's my Fly Node itself. It runs off the Cheat Manager and it has no other inputs. We'll hit play and here's my character. You can run around, you can jump, you can do everything normal. Now if I hit fly, well you'll find, for one thing, he can no longer jump. My jump button does nothing. But he can fly. He's not falling, gravity no longer affects him, and he has different basic, home, basic movement method because he's being treated as flying. Now I can't just look in a direction and push forward. Even if I was in first person, which I'll show you here, that's not going to work. So if we change our character to an FPS character and hit play, you can see him running around. We'll go ahead and hit fly. And I can fly, but it's not like I can look up or down and move like you might think of, like a flying method. No, all flying does pretty much remove gravity and gives the ability for the character to not fall and to move in any direction without being restricted by character movement. Let me switch this back to the third person character. Let me go ahead and hit play. And I'll go ahead and I'll hit my V key. And you'll see, well, nothing's really happening. I'll hit fly, I'll hit the V key, and well, nothing's really happening. Now the reason for that is my up movement isn't working properly in that mode. It needs to be in the FPS. We'll be in here, I'll hit V, and you notice my character jumping up and down. Now, my V key is technically just changing the location. I am just going and adding an offset of 100 in the Z, or up and down. That's why it's just going up, and then gravity is pulling it back down. Now, if I turn on fly and hit V, you notice my character goes up. He will stagger step, step up. So, I'll turn on walk, and he'll now drop to the ground. If you want the character to do something other than just your normal movement while fly mode is turned on, you'll have to add in your own special movement keys. Add impulses, add in movement like this where I'm actually adding an offset or setting a location. You have to take control over it because your normal character movement, your input driven input for moving on the ground, no longer will work properly going up and down. That's your biggest keys. You're not going to be able to fly like a vehicle. Now you may have noticed when I want to stop flying, I clicked walk. Walk basically disables flying and puts your character back into walking mode. So when you're done flying, just call the walk node from the cheat manager and you'll be done. And that's it. That's going to wrap up our fly node. Really simple. It simply enables the flying movement mode in a character movement component. 